and then the Hollywood fix asks this. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today we are looking into something that I am like very excited about. Like this is one of my favorite, like two favorite things we're gonna be looking into. Um, so today we are looking into the future of my two favorite things, um, like social media and TV. Stranger Things, which if you don't know what that is, that is a Netflix TV show or a series that came out in 2016 about it about basically a little town in St. Hawkins, Indiana, where a secret government laboratory is kind of working in the shadows, nobody knows about it, and a lot of stuff happens. It's a really good TV show if you haven't watched it. Season 1 and 2 are streaming on Netflix. Um, basically, we're going to get into a lot of Season 3 stuff, what I think will happen, what I've seen on like Twitter, internet, that kind of stuff. And then the second thing, Shane Dawson's YouTube series, which have been so good. I love Tanacon, Jeffree Star, and definitely Jake Paul one. Every time we release the series, it's like watch it the second it comes out. Um, but if you haven't seen those, you should go watch them. They're great. There's three parts of Tanacon, five parts of Jeffree Star, and eight parts of Jake Paul. Um, basically, he kind of just goes in depth with other people's life, their scandals, what they maybe got wrong, what maybe they've been conceived about them. So you should go watch them. They're really great. Um, they're really emotional, really inspirational, and I love them so much. So thank you to Shane for making those great videos. They're so enjoyable to watch. Um, but anyways, we are going to get into the first thing that we're going to be looking at, which is Stranger Things. Um, to start off, I'm going to go more in depth about what Stranger Things is. Um, Stranger Things is a TV show about a few kids in Hopkins, Indiana, and a secret government laboratory where they do tests on basically some, I wouldn't say paranormal, but kind of scary things. And it kind of goes too far, and a few things happen, and there's like a big deal, a disappearance, and it's just a really great TV show. Um, but anyways, so season 2 came out in 2017. Of course, I binge watched it, and I've watched the show five times now, but... Season 3 comes out in what's rumored to be summer 2019, and um, it's kind of far away and kind of sad. But as David Harbour, who plays um, um, Chief Jim Hopper in Hawkins, or in the TV show, um, said, he said there's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of new things, a lot of cool things, things that take a long time. So they're going to wait all the way until summer of 2019. Now the fact that he says, this, says that just tells us how, like, action-filled season three of Stranger Things is going to be. It's going to be so great. So there's a few internet the theories that I just want to go over. Um, so if you watch the end of season two, um, the show, it shows the shadow, the shadow monster at the end. And it shows it kind of like alive, well, and ready to take over. And if you look hard enough, it's over the school. And that's important because at the end, that's where Millie... Finn, or there's like their screen names, Eleven, um, Lucas is there, also Dustin, all the characters are there, okay? And then, it's sitting over there. Now, who does it realize that it's a lot, that is a thing at the school after it's been defeated by her? Eleven. It finally realizes that Eleven is a threat to it and it wants to figure out what to do. And so... What is it going to do? It's going to probably enslave somebody, as it did with Will in Season 2. But are they really going to do it to Will again? After all, he's been through so much stuff in Season 1 and Season 2, and it's been theorized that he's probably done with all the stuff that he's been through. I mean, he was first kidnapped by the Demogorgon, and then he was taken over by the Shadow Monster. So who is the obvious choice? Eleven. You know why Eleven's the obvious choice? Because she has powers, and the Shadow Monster needs to embrace those powers to take over, basically the overworld, the normal world, the reality that Eleven and Fit, uh, Eleven and Dustin and Lucas and all of them live in. So, and Mike and stuff. So, what is it going to do? It's going to use Millie's power to basically take over the normal world from the upside down. And Millie's powers are especially important because she can basically move things with her mind. How is that helpful? She can open portals to the upside down. Now what can portals let in? It can let in demi-dogs. And that leads us to our next theory. That maybe there won't be any more demi-dogs and no more demigorgon. So what is the next monster that will be released through a possibly open portal to the Upside Down? 
And I haven't really thought about this too much, but what if nothing is released, but instead a slug? Like it came out, he, Will puked it out obviously, a bunch of characters puked it out, and then it became basically a demodog. But what if it becomes something else? Possibly like a, I don't know, a cat or, I don't know. But my theory about it is that it actually comes out as a normal looking animal, whether that be a dog, um, a cat, um, something like a mountain lion or something, but it actually comes out looking like a like a real animal, so it can kind of spy for the shadow monster instead of just be obvious that it's like not from this world. And that would make sense, but I don't really know what's going to happen, so that was kind of that theory. Okay, so my final theory about what's going to happen in Season 3 of Stranger Things is that if you've been following what they think is going to happen in Season 3, Lucas's little sister is becoming a main character in the series. Now, it seems kind of random because she played no role in Season 1 and she had very little role in Season 2. In fact, in Season 1, I think she was on screen about three times. Um, and they weren't important at all. Except for one part where she was communicating with Dustin and a few other characters um, about what was going on and how there was a code red. Um, so she wasn't really all that important. So why would they add her as a main character in Season 3? Possibly because she is going to be the one that the Shadow Monster or whoever is controlling the Upside Down in this Season 3 is the one that's going to use, or she's going to be used to help take over the world. And I know that sounds a little crazy because she's really little, she's new to the series, what would happen to her? But if you think about it, there's no reason for her to be in there except for possibly that. What else could she do? Save them? Like, she had no role in season two or one, basically. So the fact that they've added her just kind of like tips me off that maybe, just maybe, she's going to be super important to how the shadow monster, whoever's controlling the Upside Down season three, controls the normal world. So now that I've talked about my Stranger Things season three thoughts or what I think is going to happen, I started thinking about my second favorite thing, Shane Dawson YouTube series. And I thought of that because, well, I will be waiting for the next few months until he uploads his next series, which gets millions of hits and blah, blah, blah. It's trending, that kind of stuff. But everybody is wondering what it's going to be because basically Shane's YouTube channel has now become kind of like a TV channel because it's like series that come out. And so the cool thing about that is that he can decide to make it on almost anyone. I mean, anybody would almost accept to be on Shane's YouTube channel now because he basically talks with them about what happened and tries to make it better for them. And I don't know if you saw this clip by The Hollywood Fix, but um, as of like today, it was just yesterday, but you'll be seeing this video a week later. Um, so The Hollywood Fix came to Shane's house and talked to him about his thoughts on the series after it came out and everybody saw it and all the famous hits, hits and trends and that kind of stuff. And he asked, so who do you think you'll do your series on next or who do you want to do it on? And he replied, I think Bad Batty would be cool. Um, I'll play that, that sound bite right here. I really want to do something with Bad Baby. You and then The Hollywood Fix asked this. Also, uh, Logan? Or PewDiePie, if you could get PewDiePie over here. Then Shane goes on to talk about how Logan Paul, he's kind of scared of them, blah, 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 all that stuff. But he never replies to his question about PewDiePie. And that, and that got me thinking, because a few days ago I was thinking, oh, it'd be super cool to do a series on PewDiePie. After all, he has the most subscribers in YouTube history and is still the current leader. He also has had his share of share scandals, including his racism scandal that basically brought him down and, um, and basically cut off half his supply of money is what I've heard from websites. So the fact that he didn't reply to the PewDiePie thing tells me maybe that's what he's doing for his next series. Now, of course, he might do one with Bad Batty because he really wants to do that. And after all, anybody, he could basically do a series with, with anybody he wanted. And it's hard to say who changed one to pick after I thought he was going to do a series on JoJo Siwa for, instead of the Jake Paul one. But he did Jake Paul and I didn't know that until he released it. So we won't really know what Shane's going to do for his next series until he releases it or tweets his trailer or whatever or says, oh, I had such a cool time. Or somebody else releases a video. 
So, until then, we will be waiting until Shane Dawson uploads his new video and until Stranger Things Season 3 comes out on Netflix. You can go stream Stranger Things right now on Netflix Seasons 1 and 2, and you can go watch Shane's video series on his YouTube channel. The three I recommend are to watch are Tanacon, Jeffree Star, and Jake Paul. They're really great, so you can go check it out there. Um, but anyways, thank you guys for watching my video. If you liked it, please, please hit that like button and the subscribe button. You can also hit the notification bell so that you can get notified every time I upload a video to my channel. And you can follow me on Twitter at Ryan W. O'Leary. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next week.